Welcome back, Bears and Matt and Snare Mardi Gras edition. This week's uh, stick kicks off the big parades of Mardi Gras. Um, I'm actually going to one in Fairhope tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to hit up New Orleans next weekend. That's the big, you know, the good parades and everything. But they got a lot of parades like every day this week for the next like 11 days. It'll be yeah. parades. Yeah, lots um, of parades. Yeah, lots of beads thrown. This is a throw I got from Tux a few years back. Uh, Tux is a beer oriented. Um, Parade, mm -hmm. yeah, beer already at crew, it's pretty cool. Um, got my Tux Bees from a few years ago. I got to end up getting this cool crawfish. Uh, and then I, mm, my shrimps, my scrimps. These. And I am representing Iris. Yeah. And the Tux and Iris usually roll on the same day, so they're like back to back parades. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun times. Uh, so, anyway, the beer of the day. Beer of the day. Hell or high water. This is from 21st Amendment Brewing out of San Leandro, California. All right. And this is a Hell or High Watermelon Wheat Beer. Yes. Brewed with watermelons. And the gravity on this is. I don't know. Here it is. That's a secret. 4.9%. 4, 4. 4.9%. 4. So. Yeah. Cool can, though. Got I like the, the can. I'm assuming got, that's near San Francisco. That's the yeah, Golden Gate. Yeah. Okay. And they're bringing in a barge of watermelon. All right. And they got watermelon on the barge. And so. uh, this is a seasonal release, so probably not available at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure when this was bought, but it's been a while. Watermelons are being planted. They ain't being harvested right now, so. Well, they are in some places of the world. Not anywhere you want to eat watermelon, bro. Okay, it smells good. Oh, and look at you breaking out the uh, Florida Lee Pilsner glasses. Yeah. And it pours lovely. It's pretty. It's a pretty beer. It's a 12 ounce beer, and another 12 ounces would fit in this, believe it or not. I do not smell. It's a 24 ounce beer. I do not smell the watermelon. Do you? No, but it doesn't smell bad. It smells good, actually. It does have a good fragrance, so okay. roast. Cheers. They say that Molton Roulette. Yes. Let well, the good times roll for you, non locals. I'm getting a hint of watermelon in the taste. It's not I overpowering, do. but it's light. It's in there. But it, it's very good. It's a sweet beer. It's not too sweet, but sweet enough. Like, it's, yeah. It's got the hint of watermelon, man. I like yeah. that. Like you can dip a Jolly Rancher in the vodka back in the day, but without the vodka. Yeah, this, it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's really say. good. 21st Amendment, all right. Yeah, I yeah. like this. Uh, any any people out there know what the 21st Amendment was? Is just, just no, 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 not you. You're, you've taught school. Just... Put it in the comments. And yes, Jessica Richards, I know what the 21st Amendment is. I drink a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So anyway. Shout uh, out to one of our favorite history teachers. Yes. This is uh, Wigs of Wonderlust. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, this is a lovely beer. I can drink this yeah. all day. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. One more time. It's going down. So what was our uh, rating on a scale of one to uh, I'm going to go with seven on this. I give it a seven. Yeah. You drink that at a bar? I would drink this. I'd I drink would, it outside I would buy by the pool. Uh, yep. I would buy this again. I'd give us a solid seven. As, as a wheat, this is a higher wheat beer than we've, yeah. we've rated. And um, <clears throat> it's it's lovely. Like I said, it's got that hint of strawberry, or not strawberry, but watermelon in it. Watermelon, yeah. And it's not overpowering. You know, we've got a friend who likes your strawberry mention, um, made me think of it. Uh, like a bead of strawberry, you know, yeah. Christy would enjoy that. Yeah, Christy would like this, but it doesn't have as much fruit flavor it's, as it's as not that. as strong, but it's it's just perfect because yeah, it's it's lovely. Yeah. I can't. Anybody would like this, I think. Uh, so yeah, no bitter taste in the back end of it. No, it's very crisp. Um, it's cleans your palate. That's good. Like, this is this is just two, a two good. thumbs up. Twenty first Amendment Brewery knocked it out of the park. We like this. Yeah. So y'all get y'all some, and we'll check y'all on the flip side. Peace. Peace.